a social order in which there is only one division. There is an upper crust, and then there is a great mass of peasantry uh, that lives in what we would consider as a substandard way. And this is why I repeat again, three-fourths of our aid is and will continue to be economic. The interest we have to have with resolving the military situation down there is that how can they proceed with the things they're trying to do? Uh, land reform, for example, uh, you give a man some land, but he can't go out and work it, he get his head shot off. And as long as they are under fire, there is a limit to how much they can <coughs> do in proceeding with the human rights and the improvements economically. When power failures put industries out of work, they're closed down and thus the employees are out of work and they're right back where they were, hungry and dependent on someone uh, to provide subsistence. So there is an importance in resolving that military issue. And this is why I hope we can have the same bipartisan approach. I am delighted that uh, funding is going to continue for what we're trying to do. And the all we've asked of Nicaragua and continue to ask repeatedly is mind their own business. Uh, stop trying to overthrow a duly elected government in El Salvador that is at least now trying to make the effort to come around to the kind of society we think that they should have. Stop supporting, as they are, radical bands in Costa Rica and Honduras, Guatemala, where democracy has taken root. And uh, we'll continue to try to talk to them. But again, as I say, I just hope that we can continue on a bipartisan path. The, I can tell you this from my meetings also, uh, the concern about uh, American forces becoming involved. The best of friends, still with that memory of gunboat diplomacy of years ago, they will say, no, no, help us, but don't. Don't send troops. <laughs> don't send forces down here. So uh, uh, believe me, when there's more than just a, a lack of desire on my part to ever get us involved in that kind of a conflict, at the same time I recognize we'd probably lose every friend that we've got <laughs> the first time that we try to do something of that kind. So I hope that we can continue in the path that we've been on. And now I'd like to ask Don Regan to discuss another subject which has to do with IMF. Well, 